Jesse, Ben, Archie, great to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you too. Jesse, the producer said once they got your audition tape, they wanted to stop looking at all the other tapes. You were going to be Alina. How does that feel? And where were you when you found out you got the part? I mean, I'm I'm so very happy that that was the case. Um, you know, I remember my first audition and I, I absolutely loved it and had a really good time. Um, so to 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 know that was just gave me a lot of um a massive boost, especially before we you know, this is my first sort of big, big job. So it was really nice knowing everyone was on side. And um, yeah, I was I was here at home when I got the call. I was sort of waiting. I'd had, you know, they said they're going to let you know in a few days what the sort of verdict is. And and the phone started ringing and I was sweating. <laughs> and just, I, was, I think I just swore solidly for about 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I was really, really happy. Um, and then just slowly over time started to like meet people from the cast and just got more and more excited based off how how incredibly nice everyone was so yeah Ben what did you love about getting to be a part of this universe um well initially I wasn't sure about it I read I read one episode um and my character wasn't really in it so I sort of said you know what? I'm, gonna try to be, I, I, I really, I'm gonna be involved Boring. in something of this scale I really want to be a part I really want to be a part of it my worst thing is like where I go go on a job somewhere for a few months I'm not really involved I love to be in the thick of it and so I said I'm not, I'm not sure and then they sent me a few more episodes and I read one of the books and I was like oh and I just I loved obviously I've done a lot of sort of fantasy stuff before and I think for me I just I just loved how fresh and not derivative this world feels it just it feel it feels like completely unique in its own thing and the genre doesn't feel like anything on tv it's kind of like that late dark harry potter mixed with anna karenina and oceans 11 and peaky blinders and 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 star wars and it just has all it just feels completely its own its own thing um but it feels sort of has elements of all those things which feel somewhat familiar and um and I think I just wanted to be a part of that. Also, I hadn't really played a character that was such high status before in terms of the hierarchy of a world. And it was interesting to me to be one of, you know, to be the oldest character and the, uh, and the most authoritative. I hadn't really done a lot of that. I've always sort of been the young man, really trying to, you know, coming of age. And so, so it was um, time to pass that um, baton onto my, my pal, Art. Archie, <laughs> well, you, that, the baton's been passed on, Archie. When you look back- Cheers. At- <laughs> when you look back at your time, what is one of the standout moments for you? Um, oh my God, that is so hard to choose a standout <laughs> moment. Just that the, the whole thing was, it felt like such a good collaborative experience and the whole process of it felt really, Ben was saying that before, uh, in another interview that it really felt like a sort of team, team game. Everyone was so passionate about the story and, and creating this thing. So just just being able to work with everyone that share the same amount of passion as you uh, was something that was brilliant and made going to work. It's always a joy. I love acting, but but this just made it extra special. Everyone was absolutely in love with it. it was Jesse, <laughs> well, yeah. What, what do you guys miss most? I'll start with Jesse. What do you miss most? Because the great thing about these um, being involved in a series like this is that it is so intense in a good way in that you get to leave your home, you get to go to a new country, you get to bond with your cast mates. What do you miss? I mean, I it was absolutely devastating to come back when, you know, we, because I, I think I saw at least one person from the cast every day, you know, even when we weren't working together, we mostly all saw each other pretty much every day so suddenly not seeing everyone and then going into lockdown was genuinely like difficult and <laughs> I was really cut up about it um you know we all just got so so close and like you said it's a really intense experience and you share so much and you have so many little jokes and um I mean it I just couldn't we couldn't have been luckier in terms of who was there and and who we got to like spend those six months with so yeah that was that's the thing I miss the most is my lovely my lovely Ben what do you miss (laughs) yeah I mean it's 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 definitely it's definitely the people um yeah if you don't say cast then I would (laughs) (laughs) get out I don't miss you the cast um (laughs) <laughs> it, uh, it, it, it was just it, it, but everyone who came on board it was it was an extraordinary thing that everyone who came on board even if they were just in for a day for one scene they'd almost always like read all the books 
and they were just so excited to be there and then and then they came in and realized that we were all so passionate about making something that we really love and um and i think that 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 energy from our showrunner dan was really infectious and um and so so we had that environment of excitement and uh, i heard an interview with lee barzugo who's the author and she said when she came to visit set and she, we were in month six of filming and uh, she could hear singing from our cast tent and we never sat in our own tent, we were so small <laughs> together and um, we would we so even through to the end you know we we were always just like playing silly games and singing with each other and have you know trying to enjoy the experience of it i think that was the main thing i was trying to pass on to everybody was like don't worry about what the next job is don't worry about anything else just just really enjoy this and be here now and i think going into lockdown after that it's really proved that 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 is always the case whatever you're doing today enjoy that because it's the only today you'll ever get mm. i have to wrap so actually i'm going to assume you're going to say cast and i'm hoping that we'll come back and get more no i was oh, going to say these little sorry. chicken schnitzel things that they had there <laughs> with like yeah. cheese and cream <laughs> on that lovely note i hope you get to have more of that when you're back fingers crossed for season two <laughs> <laughs> cheers cheers <laughs> thank oh, you so brilliant. much <laughs> cheers <laughs>